Good morning, this is WQSC 1340 and AM 950, The Voice, The Crabtree Chronicle, and thecrabtreechronicle.com. I first shared with you yesterday the story of Alan Mulally, the retiring CEO of Ford. Now, this guy, Mulally, he's leaving behind quite a legacy as a turnaround artist for Ford Motor Company. Ford is the only U.S. car manufacturer that has not had to go through bankruptcy. Chrysler and General Motors did, uh, with the assistance of the Obama administration, after the financial crash of 2008 and 2009. He took over in 2006, presiding over, at that point, nearly a $13 billion annual loss. How do you do in 2013, some, some seven years later? They had a $7.2 billion gain. That's with a B, billion. Now, how did he do this? He did two main things. The first was he recognized the coming events. He had a vision for Ford. He knew where they were going, and he knew what obstacles they were going to face. So he went and he sort of mortgaged the company in a healthy way, and he went out and, and bolstered their, their balance sheet with cash, knowing that they had a tough time ahead. The second thing he did is he turned the corner on how they were managing themselves. See, the VPs and the directors in various different departments were coming to what they would later call the war room, and they were telling themselves, trying to convince themselves that everything was okay, telling each other what they wanted to hear, that everything in their department was running good. And one day, after a few of these sessions, CEO Mullally said, this is, this is BS. We're losing $13 billion a year. Everything can't be good. And he started rewarding people who came to these war room meetings with saying, these are the problems and obstacles I'm facing. These are the attempts to solve it I've made, and here's where the problems still are. And they began to help each other with solutions on how to manage through. Now, because of his vision and his leadership, Ford was able to make it through and, and be a model turnaround success story. The stock more than doubling in the time that he's been the CEO. He'll retire in the next year and make way for a, uh, another CEO to come in that's been part of the team. But there's a lesson for each of us, including our government and our leaders, in this Ford turnaround story. First of all, the government isn't the solution to everything. That's number one of three. Number two, when you focus on facts that are even very negative, like what's going wrong in every department, in some cases every sector, if you're talking about government, when you focus on what's going wrong, you can identify, identify ways to make it go right. And three, when you look forward and have vision for how you want to see something look or appear or act in the future, as Mullally did looking at the cash and the balance sheets, you're able to gain a competitive advantage. He knew that if they could continue developing models during the financial crash, and they did, they could pick up market share. Ford is an example our federal government ought to be following.